there's no time to sit around here. Indeed. Let's get that will. So, it was the chimes, and anything more about that? What well, is it dark, huh? Around the world? The chimes. Hmm. Where's that hinting at? That's the globe. A detailed globe of the world. A mermaid statue lazily lunging on the bookshelf. The Chimes by Charles Dickens. Okay, I have no idea where this is supposed to fit, so I'll take that as the first one. So then we have a comedy of masks. Where is it? Where is it? There. Two masks, then we have three poems. We have the signs of the four. There is it. Dance of Death with the uh, Roman uh, number five. That was something about here. Madame Butterfly with uh, six butterflies. So then we have the seven poor travelers. We jump to um, the dark house, that's number nine. Then we have eight in 80 days around the world. And 20,000 leaks under the sea. That wasn't correct. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's think a little bit more about those chimes. And, well, 20,000 leagues under the sea. What's about the diving helmet? It's the TG-10. Ten. 10. Okay, so that's probably 10. Okay, nothing special about that. Nothing more special. The base. Is there any specific cone? No. Is there anything chimey here? Lots of Lots of paintings. Ah, this must be the late bird from Bickley. And a hat stand. A simple but elegant hat stand. Yeah, and uh, by the way, uh, I'm one of the people who still like wearing hats, and there are far too less. Uh, far too few hat stands around in most houses, so if you don't have any, get a hat stand. So, boxes, boxes... Hmm. What about the urn? Is there something about the urn? No, not urn. Looks old. Okay. Is there anything chimey in the garden that I have overlooked? Well, what weren't there? 
What about these belts? Three belts are attached to the wall. Okay. So chimes are probably then three and a child's garden of verses. Well, we don't have the one. Uh, so perhaps it's not about three poems, so... Hmm. Let's assume that's one. And the 80 days around the world is supposed to be the eight. Then I would have all the numbers. Let's try that. Back to the study. So, bookcase. And now we'll start with a child's garden of verses. Then we have a comedy of masks, which was somewhere around here. Then we have the chimes. Sign of the Four. Dance of Death. Madame Butterfly. Uh, there it is. The Seven Poor Travelers. In eight e days around the world. Dark House. And 20,000 leagues under the sea. That must be right! Something is happening! Finally! <laughs> And? And? What have we got here? So a door has opened. Let's go to the secret room. It's a little bit dark here. But luckily I have those matches. Because I wouldn't be able to really see a thing here probably, would I? And? Ah, no, that's that's atmospheric lighting. That's a wolf statue. What a startling and menacing likeness. Some more paintings. Let's have a look at the paintings first. There are some interesting paintings on the wall. I wonder if some of them were done by Madeleine when she was younger. Yeah, it looks a bit like uh, girly paintings. So there's a statue of a lady. A statue of a woman. She has a type of elegance about her. So why is she back here? Now let's have a look at that small wooden box. Um, okay. Uh, well... That sounds entirely like something that I, um, um, don't like. Uh, let's do it easy. Thank you. Okay, so, um, how do I do that? Ah, okay. So, no, that's not right. That's not right either. Where's that supposed to go? So, um, No, that's that's not helping. Um. Hmm? Um. No, if I is that done anything? No, reset. Let's try this again. So, this thing down there. So, let's do that. Uh, 
Uh, no. That's not helping either. Hmm. That's not the piece that was supposed to go there. And... Can I do... Now how can I swap those? I do this, okay. Well, that looks a bit more like it, does it? Um, and then this is supposed to go where? Does that help? That's not quite. Something's not quite right yet. Okay, so these two need to change places. So... Um... Um... Um? Down there, does that this done the trick? That seems to be the solution. Let's see what's inside the box. Ooh. Okay. I did it. It was easy, but I did it. Ah. So there are some documents. I wonder if this is what I've been looking for. And a locket. I wonder what whose this is. And then let's have a look at it. Hmm. Secret documents. Okay, let's go back to Madeleine. So have I found what I was looking for? Let's give them to Madeleine. Um, I found a really strange room behind your uncle's bookcase. And where am I? Why am I talking to the urn? <laughs> Whatever. Excuse me. It's an actual secret room. Well, I don't know if I'm really surprised. This house may have even more secret hidden away. Um, it contains some statues, paintings and a wooden puzzle box. A puzzle box? How curious! Indeed! And I found your uncle's will inside it. Really? Oh, Edward! I knew you would be able to help me. You're such a resourceful friend. It was no trouble. I actually enjoyed mysteries a lot. Oh, Mr. Bunting, you're so modest. After I found the will, I stayed for tea and a fantastic luncheon. We reminisced about days long past, days long past and spent time in the charming garden that adorns Bickley House. Fortunately, Madeleine had no qualms about the fact that I had with her. She spoke of her eccentric uncle, a memorable character whom I now almost feel intimately acquainted with. I did, af I did after all spend all the time amongst his belongings, unraveling his last careful constructed riddle. And what a memorable riddle that was. Madeleine will now be able to stay on at Bickley House, the place that is so dear to her. We discussed the house's interesting history and that of the local village. Life in the countryside certainly seems to move at a different pace from that in the city. It was a most pleasant afternoon. Eventually I had to take my leave. 
I said my goodbyes, promised the blah blah blah, and so I had had it back. I reflected on all that had happened. It was such a welcome change to my usual routine. I was still cheerful as I approached home since I, it had been a long day and I was looking forward to an evening of peace and quiet. It seems, however, that news can spread with uncanny speed. I found my mailbox swamped with letters, some from complete strangers, requesting help with various mysteries and puzzles. Why? How? It doesn't make any sense. Fin. Oh, fin. That's French and for the end. So, that was Mr. Bunting's modest adventure. Um, we already had a look at the credits. So, very nice game. Um, I wonder what about that locket was, but, uh, well... Okay, so... Um, thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for the authors who wrote this game for our uh, Virtual Welten Virtual Worlds uh, Adventure Contest. So and that was the final entry. I really enjoyed playing it and um, well, the it was a really huge adventure game for a game that was supposed to be at least one screen. Um, very well designed and uh, really enjoyed it. So. Um, you can also give it a try. Um, you know already... Oh, there's something. Dobson, the secret room. Huh? Indeed, madam. Also, you're quite the actress. What? The secret room what? I'll have to look that up again in the, uh, in the recording. So, thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Goodbye. And Ad Astra.